Brother, we're not the Christian church. We're not out here to get numbers. We are here to save souls. It's not about numbers. It's about real men of God. I'm going to show you what the Most High told us to do on the Sabbath. Give me Luke 14 and 20. What you're doing right now is what the Most High commands each and every black, Hispanic, and Native American man to do. We are out here raising up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Which are you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans? Read that. No, we're the propitiation of our sin. And he is. Jesus Christ is the propitiation of our sin. That's right. Bring it up. So that's that's the kind of nonsense we're talking about. Of God. The what? Oracles of God. This Bible was only given to the children of Israel. That's right. It was not given to any African. It was not given to any Egyptian. Give me Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Because according to the Bible, we are at the bottom of society because we do not keep God's laws, statutes, and commands. That's right. It's high time that we wake up out of sleep. Neither keep they the king's law. And they don't even keep the king's law. Because guess what? Just because the so-called white man says Sunday is the Sabbath, we say no, that's not true. The Sabbath is on Saturday and we're going to keep it on Saturday. That's All right. right. And we're going to write up a written document saying I'm not working on the Sabbath. Because we're different from everybody else. We're not going to do what everybody else does. We're not going to sing and dance like the white man has told us to do over 400 years. He 
he's going to get Galatians 4 and 26. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Oh, oh this white man, Cesar Bogier, yeah. He's actually the son of uh, Pope Alexander. All right? He's an actual man. He walked the earth. They painted him as the image of Christ in the Renaissance period in the 1400s. Uh, speak loud, speak loud. Exactly, 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 you're exactly correct. Now, sis, let me ask you a question. Why'd you walk over here, sis? Uh, interested in what you were saying. Interested in what saying, okay. Listen to this scripture, sis. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Which is the mother of who? Of us all. So this is, give me uh, Psalms 147, 19. You, know, you got to understand that this Bible, sis, was written to the Israelites. Not everybody. Because you've been taught that God loves everybody, right? You've been taught that. So is she. So, today's a new day because we're actually coming out of the Bible. Right. Because y'all learned that in the Christian church, right? Watch this. Psalm 147, verse 19. He's showing his word unto Jacob. His statute and his judgment unto Israel. So the Bible says he shows his word unto Jacob. His statutes and commandments unto Israel. The 12 tribes, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read on. He has not dealt so with any nation. He says, read that again. He has not dealt so with any nation. But our enemies have taken that and now they tax you for it. You see that? Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness, the clothes that you got on your back. Who'd you get it from? The store. Who owns the store? Right? And if black people own the store, who owns the textile industry that makes the, makes the material? Exactly. Read on. And in one of all things. And one of all things, read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. When was that yoke of iron put on our neck, brother? Think about a period of time. When did our forefathers have yokes of iron on their neck? It's slavery. So his prophet is prophetic and said, he will put a, he, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Read. Until he has destroyed thee. Until he has mentally destroyed you. Now we think that we have African Americans, right? Instead of the Israelites, the sons and daughters of God. Alright? Watch this. Come on. Alright, give me um. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. How you doing, brother? Praise you, God bless you. Alright, alright, brother. You know who you are, brother? I'm Tribe Judah. Tribe Judah, alright, alright. Okay. How long you know you Tribe Judah? Well, I came into this is around like 8182. 8182? I came into the knowledge of who I am, my ancestors. Okay, okay. Who'd you learn from? You know, from King, Yahweh been Yahweh. Yahweh been Yahweh. Okay. Alright, alright. Let me ask you this, brother. You know you're the tribe of Judah, right? Yes, sir. So, just knowing that you're from the tribe of Judah, is that enough? Oh, sir. What, 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 else is, what else does it take, man? What else you got to do? You got to resurrect those that are lost. You got, okay, you got to go preach the word. What else? And I got to stand on, 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 on his commitments, his, 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 his laws and all. Oh, his law. Okay, okay. All praise. That's exactly what I was doing. Because I could teach you who you are all day. But if you don't know that you got to keep God's commandments and the faith in Christ, it don't matter. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what did the Lord thy God require of thee? That's the same thing I just asked my brother. I say, like, what else? What else we got to do? Watch this. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Read it again. To keep the commandments of the Lord. You see that, bro? You see that? So, do you know any of God's commandments? No. Give me numbers 15 and 38. You see uh, what we got on our shirts? You see, he got them. All of us got them. That's the commandment. We have a choice for Israel. We can't wear whatever we want. We have to keep the commandments. Watch this. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. So that's what we're doing. We're speaking to the children of Israel. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. 
How long is that throughout your generations? How long is that? Forever. Exactly. All praise is forever. Read. And that they put upon the fridge a border, a ribbon of blue. So you got to put fridges on and around the fridges a border, ribbon of blue. You see that? Read. And it shall be unto you for a fridge that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. You got to remember every commandment. You know what today is? What's today? Today's Friday. What's today? Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Oh, man. Hey, brother. <laughs> I reckon, man. Oh, I, I, I understand, brother. We in captivity. I understand. We are. Man, <laughs> but it's, oh, man. But check this out. Today is called something else. Let me see if you know what I'm talking about. Today in the Bible. What do you think today is called in the Bible? The Sabbath. Exactly. Give me Exodus 20 and 8. Do you know what you're supposed to do on the Sabbath? You did? All places, brother. We're going to teach you. All right. Watch this. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So like you just said, man, you've been working, you don't lost track of days. Hey, keeping the Sabbath will help you remember. Because you can only work six days. Today, uh-uh, you can't work. From Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, you cannot work at all. That's breaking the Sabbath. You understand that? What else can't you do? Give me your Nehemiah 10 and 31. So if you're not working, think about retail stores, right? If you ain't supposed to be working, are they supposed to be open? Nah, they're not supposed to be open either. Well, watch this. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring, if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. You see that? We can't buy or sell on the Sabbath day. What else can we do? Uh, Exodus 35 and 3. We can not, let me see, how can I say this? Uh, well, you don't know, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you. So we can't uh, cook either, because the most High said, well, actually, I'm going to give, I'm going to go deeper to it, because this is a reflection of when our forefathers got out of Egypt, all right? So when we was in the wilderness, he said, he set this day apart. So we couldn't cook, we couldn't buy and sell, we couldn't work, we couldn't do any of that, any of that. We had to take our time and just give glory and praise to the most High. Stay at rest. I'm going to go deeper into that, watch this. Yeah, yeah, 35 minutes, that's the Exodus, chapter 35 and verse 3. You shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. So that's talking about in regards to cooking, all right? Now give me that Exodus 16 and 22. Exodus, chapter 16 and verse 22. And it came to pass that on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread, two omens for one man. And all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moses. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today, and see that which you will see. And that remain the up over to be kept unto the Lord. All right, brother. So he just read a lot. So I'm explaining to you. So that means, if you know that the Sabbath day is approaching, right, it would be in your best interest to go ahead and go to the grocery store the day before so you can have something to eat so you won't be hungry. Because a lot of brothers say, what you mean, I can't cook on the Sabbath? So that means I can't eat. No, you got sandwiches, you got fruit, you got cereal, you got a lot of things, you got salad, you got a lot of things you can eat. But in order to prepare, you got to do what? Prepare the day before, so you won't break the Sabbath when the Sabbath day comes. You understand that? All right, so the officer is going over the fences with you, right? Amen. So then on how do you repent? You know? Huh? Oh, ask for forgiveness? So let's see what the Bible says, alright? Acts 3, verse 19, right? Repent ye therefore, and be converted. I'll read it again. Repent ye therefore, and... When you convert on the money, ah, uh, what do you do? You want to change it. Alright, on the what change it? According to the Bible, what changes? You got it? Huh? So let's find out. Psalm 19, verse 7. Right? The law of the Lord is perfect. I'll read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. Right? Converting the soul. Uh huh. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Alright, on the what conversion? Ah, did you catch it? Oh. 
Uh, read it up right, from the top. The law of the Lord is perfect. Uh -huh. Converting the soul. So what does the law do? Uh, convert the soul, right? So what converts it? I mean, God's law, right? I'm going to go over a law. Read me 1 Corinthians 11 and 4. I got to test the spirits, all right? To see even if this Bible bear witness with y'all. All right? Because uh, God is only coming back on for the one-third of us. All right? All right, on the two-thirds, you're going to hear this right here. And say the hell with that Bible. And on the keep living in Babylon. But yeah. Okay. Right. I already knew that if you were just a normal man. Right. Um, the seizure boy's here, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so what Bible do you have? Is it King James? Or is it NIV? Um, ESV? So we're supposed to get out of the, on the King James on the version Bible. All right, on the come to the school on that flyer. So you from Tallahassee? All right, on the come out to the school, man, and keep learning. All right, on the Christ, man, is a black man according to the Bible. So does it say it in your Bible that Christ is black? Uh, all right, on, let me read this scripture right here, and then we'll talk some more. Yeah. First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. Um, listen close. Every man praying or prophesying, uh -huh. Having his head covered, uh -huh. dishonor it his head. So what does that say? Every man praying or prophesying on reading the scriptures, listening to the scriptures, is on the prophesy. On having his head covered, uh, dishonors who? Ah, uh, let's get on verse three. Jump up. First Corinthians eleven, verse three. Right. But I will have you know that. The head of every man is Christ. All right, I'm going to your head is on the Christ. All right, I'm going to go to verse 4. Verse 4. Every man, praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. All right, I'm going to when this Bible comes out, um, we are to take our uh, hats off our head. You should take the hat off. All praises, brother. All praises. Hey, your brother walking away. Ah, do you got a second? Uh, what's your nationality, man? Mm. Italian. So you from over there? This is I'm born and raised there. over there. Or you, I say, I or you lived is, over there for I've been waiting I'm for. Yeah. That's yeah. why I haven't. So you lived over there. Like that. Right. So I'm so what do they call you, you here in America? What's going on yes. right. American black. Yeah. So they call you black or African American, right? Yeah. Now look at this sign on where you find yourself on this sign. Um, where do you find yourself on this sign right here? I'm an American black, right? So this is what God calls you right here, Judah. All right, on, so you come from the same tribe as on a Jesus Christ. All right, on, so that's your true nationality, man, according to the Bible. All right, so your father's a black man too, um, so-called black man. And then your grandfather, and they came in slavery over here. Huh? So your parents ain't never going to slavery? Or your grandfather's grandfather ain't never going to slavery? Huh? So you from America? So we came over here, man, in slavery, though. Uh, the white man had got us from the west coast of Africa, and they brought us on here in slavery. Uh, that is on the prophesies in the Bible. I already went through that. They cut a goat and a cow at you, but it didn't do no good. They cut a goat and a cow at you. Nah, what's that mean, brother? That's slavery. That's slavery day. So we served that slavery here in America. That is, that is slavery. Ah, they time to slave your forefathers? They were slavery. I got strong with them. Ah, I'm not talking about your foreparents. Just tell you now. So they ain't never going to slavery? All right, brother. All right, I'll pray for you. I'll look at that flyer, man, and get some more information. So you have any more questions, bro? Very interesting, though. I'm pretty sure I have a question. Talking. All right, on who's the Bible for? Do you know? It's for us. It's for us only. All right, the officer went over that scripture with you. All right, give me Joel 227. Bring it out. 
Because uh, on the Christianity teach you what? On the Jesus Christ, to be for everybody. Uh, the white Christ. Um, but with that on it comes a different spirit. All right, I'm read this. You got it? Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Uh-huh. And he shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Uh-huh. Of Israel. Uh-huh. And that I am the Lord, your God. All right, on what tribe are you from over here? Are you from Judah? Uh, all right, on read that part again. And that I am, and that, and that I am the Lord, your God. He's your God. And none else. On um, everybody else? And none else. All right. All right. So the Holy Scriptures say that um, God is only for these people on this side. All right. On the, uh, did you celebrate on the Thanksgiving on Thursday? And you had the turkey? Uh, give me Proverbs on the 3 and 31. Bring it out. So the Bible teaches not to do them holidays. All right. On the God only gives us holidays to celebrate. On Hanukkah, Passover, on the Sabbath day. Are you planning on doing Christmas? Uh, can you find Christmas in the Bible? Huh? Uh, where's it at? So we learned on the Christmas, on the during slavery. All right, man, the so-called white man had taught us that. I'm going to read this. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Uh-huh. Envy thou not the oppressor. All right, I'll read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor. All right, on the, who's the man oppressor? Uh, the so-called white man, right? Uh, what the scripture just say? Um, so we ain't supposed to learn his way. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.